Okay, okay, let me say it again. This one's gonna be perfect, watch this. Hi, I'm Tim Burton, director of Disney's Dumbo. Colleen Atwood, costume designer for Dumbo. And this is Notes on a Scene. I wish Mama could've seen this. Well, somehow, I think she knows we're here. This is when they bring Dumbo to dreamland. You know, they go from the Medici little family circus to the big city and big dreamland. So, you know, it's, it's like a early version of Disneyland, really. So this kind of shows the magic of the world that these people are seeing for the first time in their lives. All this was, was blue. That was an amazing thing. We had the whole set, which was an old blimp factory. All this was built. The, the gates were built. All this was built. All this was built. You know, we, we tried to build as many sets as we could because it not only helps me, the actors, it makes you feel more like you're there. So, you know, everybody can connect with the, the feeling and the emotion. So, you know, obviously for all the people, the actors, it was easy because they're, they're the there. stars of a big parade. And I all mean, these people were real. I mean, yeah. a lot of movies, that'd all be fake, but yeah, on yeah, this one, yeah. we had all the real Yeah, and all the, we had all the circus performers performing. So everybody was kind of swept up into the whole spectacle of the place. It's like kind of when the first time you go to one a place like you know, your kid Disneyland or whatever, you know, you see things in a in a heightened way. And I really think in that moment with the actors themselves, like, Michael and Eva and everybody, they were like, wow, you really felt like in this moment on the movie, you were working on something special, something that doesn't happen very often in movies anymore, that everything was real and you were yeah. in this magnificent kind of old yeah, movie. Yeah, you know, everybody gets into that energy, which is different if, if all this was green. I mean, I've done green screen stuff and you go insane because you, you don't know what you're looking at. You know, you don't have any focal yeah. point and, you, and so it, it really does help everybody. Yeah. The balloons are red, white, and blue, but the costumes really are not. I didn't use circus colors, traditional circus colors, because I didn't want to. It was really important that it had a patina to it, that it wasn't just those primaries, which Ben really helped with with yeah, his Yeah, and also there's just kind of off like colors. It's dirty, kind of like off, Vegasy kind of Dirty weird. yellow, dirty reds, dirty yeah. blues, and that was a really, to me, an important part of the design of the costumes for the film. Wait, work your magic, bitch! This movie was very uh, unusual for me in the sense is that the main character didn't really materialize until the very, very end, like about a couple of weeks ago. So it's, it's strange that you have all of this <laughs> surrounding, it, it, you know, have, you have everything built, you have all these amazing actors, and they're all acting to nothing, you know, the, nothing to something, the main character is not there. So it's a very odd thing to, to do because everything else is materialized except for that. And the one thing Tim did, I think, that really helped the kids is he, he had an actual actor in a green suit that was Dumbo. So for them, they had the perspective of distance from how far away yeah. Dumbo was, and they could actually have something to react to other yeah. than just I mean, like, it was oh, very, Dumbo's over there. Yeah, and he studied and elephant he so movements, great. and he did, you know, he really knew how to give it the flavor of it. You know, it goes back to like great silent movie characters. You know, you just get your feelings just from their eyes. And that's what I, you know, I love with a lot of the actors I work with is the, what they project out of their eyes. So with animals, you know, sometimes there's a connection that's very deep and transcends the human animal and connects. And that's what we tried to give Dumbo. Real elephants' eyes are on the sides of their heads, so you had yeah. to move Dumbo's eyes forward to communicate. Yeah, it's, like, it, it was a funny challenge to try to get the balance of fantasy and reality with, with the look of the character. When we have Dumbo's point of view, just, you know, give him a little bit of Dumbo vision because he's the main character, just so you felt what he was kind of seeing. The one thing I did think from, from Tim that makes him really special as a director is he understands the characters, like he understands Dumbo in a, in a unique way. And I realized when I started talking to Tim that he would sort of say these little things and I go, okay, he's seeing whatever this moment is through Dumbo's eyes. It's sometimes the him or the shoe or different things that Dumbo would see because he's small become more important 
than like the sort of big wide shot of everybody's mm -hmm. costumes and everything. Yeah, I mean, people thought I was obsessed by women's shoes, but no, I was, <laughs> it was no, for that it particular was, reason. It was yeah. fun to examine the world from a new perspective, yeah. which is in design a really great kind of challenge. For costumes for a circus parade, these ladies here are in the show later but we didn't really want to reveal the costumes in the parade, so sort of at the last minute, I made these capes that are sort of like umbrella or circus tent things with sequins sewn on them. I think we made them in a day and a half for all the girls, and I made the headdresses like gluing feathers on on the morning of. But the quality of the costume was so beautiful and textural and, and worked so well, both for look and performance, that it really helped the attitude and the feeling of the performers and everybody because, they, they felt it. Why don't we let him stay outside? I remember young lady. Mystique. I hadn't talked to Mike for almost like 20 years. Yeah, last time I worked with him, he was in a Batman suit, you know what I mean? And he didn't like that very much. So it was funny. Now on this one, it's like a complete opposite. Yeah, everything that we did, everything that Michael did, it was for the good of the character, but it was also for <laughs> quickness and comfort and everything. Yeah. Was, but, but, you know, all in a good way. So it was anti-tie from the start. <laughs> when you're yeah, like, that's where uh, the great okay. idea for the cravat came up. Yeah. Now this is why I joined the service. She was such a great character, our Mur. It's really not her body. From here to here, I padded out to make her look more fish-like. Sometimes you have to add things to, to the human body and exaggerate it to make it work in a costume that's different than how you would in a, um, a non-performing sort of costume. These uniforms, as we had the circus These go were along... based on early Disney... <laughs> it was a pre-polyester period of uniforms for people that worked at theme parks. Like, you get inspired. You know, I walk into the costume department and see all these things and textures and, and stuff. And me and everybody else, the DP, the actors, it, it's, it's a creative thing and, and, you know, it's not a singular thing. You don't make a film by yourself, so it's important and great to work with other great artists. It's an inclusive process and when you try to exclude people from your process it sort of limits what you can do. The point for me made Dumbo was like the feeling that I remember feeling watching old Disney movies where you get a mixture of feelings you know joy happiness sadness loss everything that Disney movies had so that was the goal with this is to just try to create a simple fable about, you know, weirdos finding your place in the world, really. When I first started working at Disney, that's how I felt, you know, a, a strange, weird outcast, but, you know, like most animators. And I think that that story always just, the symbol of that, this weird character that doesn't fit in, who's got what people might think is a weirdness or disability, and then he use it as a, as a beautiful advantage. And I think that, that that simple story about that, and you know, finding your place in the world and who you are and what you are is, is, is something that, that always hit me with Dumbo.